Good afternoon, and welcome to the 2021 Top Workplaces Award Ceremony. My name is Andrew Julian. I'm editor and publisher of the Hartford Current, and I will be your host this afternoon, together with Rick Green, the current director of content. First, I'd like to start out by thanking our event sponsor, COCC. Now, first, before we get into the program, I'd like to go through a few housekeeping items. We expect today's event to run about 45 minutes, and it will be recorded to view later on both YouTube and LinkedIn. And you'll find the link to join our Top Workplaces LinkedIn group in the chat. I think Rebecca, you can just put it in there. The Top Workplaces special publication, the print version of the, of the Top Workplaces winners, will appear this Sunday in the September 26th edition of the Hartford Current. A copy will also be mailed to each of your organizations. Coverage of today's event and a list of winners will also appear today online at current.com sometime this afternoon after the event. So if you don't want to wait till Sunday to read our coverage, it'll be there online later today. We also have something new for you this year in today's program, our virtual photo booth brought to you by Robinson and Cole. Now the link will be shared with you in the chat. And don't forget to take a photo of your team uh, or yourself or upload a photo uh, and, and put it into the virtual photo booth. At the end of the event, which will run through Saturday, September 25th, Robinson and Cole will choose one winner who will get a $100 Amex gift card as a reward for participating in this fun part of the program. Now I'd like, before we get into the winners, I'd like to turn it over to Rick Green, who's gonna talk a little bit about how the winners were chosen, the process by which the selections were made this year. Thank you very much, Andrew, and congratulations to everyone. You are our 2021 top workplace winners. Today, we're here to celebrate all of you. After employees from companies across Hartford, Middlesex, Holland, New London, and Wyndham counties were surveyed. Today, we will recognize the best of the best. Our top 58 workplaces, from banks to healthcare organizations to manufacturers, all share the core values that drive success in the workplace. So give yourselves a round of applause in the chat for being part of an exclusive group. Our research partner, for the top workplaces program this year is Energage. Energage conducted the survey on behalf of us. I would like now to invite Dan Keller, the president at Energage, to talk about who you are, our 58 winners this year. Well, these remain challenging times for all of us, professionally and personally. It's important that we find moments to celebrate the good. And that is all of you, our 2021 Hartford Current Top Workplaces. You continue to be intentional about culture and you continue to put your employees first. I'd like to start with a quote from one of the thousands of employee comments that we analyzed as part of this year's research. The care the leadership has for the team is obvious. And I know they will always put myself and my family first. Never do I doubt that they will make a decision that will jeopardize my job or my well being, especially during this last year of COVID. I genuinely love working with the team that is at SBI. It truly is a family. And this comment comes from an employee at Standard Builders. Employees at top workplaces feel hurt, they feel appreciated, they believe in the direction that you're headed, and they are resilient. As top workplaces, you all embody our purpose at Energage, which is to make the world a better place to work together. This is the 11th year that we've been privileged to partner with the Hartford Current. We surveyed more than 30,000 employees this year, yours included. And we measured the 15 culture drivers that we've identified based on 15 years of research from over 70,000 organizations and 23 million employees. And we learned that what's most important to your employees is simply connection. But real connection is a two-way street and it requires more than just top-down company-wide communication. 
So how do you make real connection happen? I'd like to share three very concrete actions for you to take away. First, celebrate the good. Look for positive moments like this award to connect with your employees. Just by doing this, you'll build loyalty, pride, and morale. And frankly, we all need to hear a little more good news. Second is to give your employees a voice. Now, the good news here is that all of you already took this step through the employee engagement survey that we conducted for all of the top workplaces participants. But asking for feedback once a year is not sufficient. To maintain connection, you need to keep the dialogue going. Third, make people informed decisions. Don't let the data that you've already collected die on the vine. Unlock actionable insights from your employees' feedback. Doing this will help you gain the trust and confidence of your team. I'll leave you with one more comment. This one from an employee at Liberty Bank. Working through the pandemic has been so interesting and difficult at times, but time and time again, Liberty's upper management shows us through their actions how much the employees are appreciated. Congratulations once again for all you have endured and all you have achieved. I look forward to seeing you at next year's Top Workplaces celebration, hopefully in person. Be safe and be well. Thank you, Dan. Now, one of the interesting and important issues that we've all tackled this last year has been the importance of diversity, equity, and inclusion in the workplace, both in terms of our own employees and the people we work alongside every day, and in terms of how we approach our customers, our clients, and, and the people we serve. We've been reminded uh, over the last year and year and a half just how critical that is in the workplace so we can become a richer, more inclusive, more diverse, and more welcoming nation. And the role that all of you play in making that a reality is critical. And we're gonna hear a little bit more about that today from a friend of mine, Jay Williams, uh, who many of you probably already know, who's the president of the Hartree Foundation for Public Giving. Now, Jay has been uh, in that role uh, since July 2017 and currently is really leading a, a robust effort at the foundation to dismantle the structural racism, achieve equity and improve economic and social mobility throughout the region. Um, there's a lot of information about that effort on the uh, Hartford Foundation's website and I encourage you to check that out and see what they are doing because it, really, it is really impressive and it's really important work. Just to give you uh, a little bit of background on Jay, he serves on the boards of the Metro Hartford Alliance, Advanced Connecticut, the Chief of Community Development Corporation. He's a member of the Governor's Workforce Council, the Community Foundation Opportunity Network Governing Council. He's had a lot of jobs before coming here to Hartford, a lot of them in the public sector. He was the U.S. Assistant Secretary for, of Commerce for Economic Development. He was Deputy Director of the Office of Intergovernment Affairs at the White House where he was principal liaison between the president and local elected officials. He's been the executive director of the Federal Office of Recovery for the Auto Communities and Workers and arrived in Washington to do all those federal stints after serving as the mayor of the city of Youngstown, Ohio, where he led regional economic development to prove the competitiveness of Youngstown, Ohio on the global stage. Prior to being elected mayor, he led the community development agency in Youngstown. So that's a long list of uh, important resume items, but more importantly, if you've ever had a chance to talk to Jay, to, to work with him, you know what a, a dynamic and thoughtful person he is, and you never walk away from a conversation uh, with him without thinking a little bit about how to do things better in your, own, in your own business or in your own life. So without further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to Jay. Jay, welcome today, we appreciate you coming. Andrew, thank you very much for uh, the gracious introduction. I certainly appreciate uh, the opportunity to be here with everyone. And I want to offer my congratulations uh, and greetings to all of the companies and the organizations who have been nominated by your employers uh, as a top workplace. Uh, it is something of which you should be very, very proud. During the tumult that we've all experienced across the Hartford community and across every workplace, uh, one thing that has remained constant 
uh, and perhaps even more clear is the value of our staff and our employees. Whatever product or service your company or organization provides, without the people to make it happen, organizations will struggle to survive and ultimately perish. As a previous speaker mentioned, these are indeed the most trying of times. The global pandemic has upended so much of what we thought about both work and workplaces. There have been long held norms and traditions that have been turned upside down while other previously perceived, perceived radical approaches to work have indeed become the norm. Rigidity and lumbering processes that are resistant to change, those are out. Creativity, nimbleness, employee trust and empowerment, those are the traits and characteristics that are most essential for survival and thriving in today's marketplace. What we've also learned during this extended crisis we have endured is the importance of a renewed focus on diversity, equity, and inclusion. It has become clear that these no longer can be seen as buzzwords tossed around casually with the hope to create a veneer of authenticity. Commitment to diversity, equity, inclusion must now be at the core of every organization and every company that aspires to be a top workplace. The benefits of doing so are virtually limitless. It doesn't matter what line of business an organization or company is in. Companies that have a genuine commitment to DEI will be more profitable, will have a better connection to employees, customers, and or clients, will be more effective and impactful in carrying out their mission, will be able to attract the best and the brightest talent in the workplace. This is one of those rare approaches to which there is no downside. Well, what do we mean when we say DEI? Diversity is simply defined as the presence of differences. These differences may include gender or race or religion or sexual orientation. They may also include, but are not limited to, ethnicity, nationality, socioeconomic status, language, ability or disability, age, religious commitment, or political perspective. When we talk about equity, we're talking about the process of fairness. Equity is rooted in the policies and the practices that organizations implement to promote justness and impartiality. And finally, when we talk about inclusion, inclusion is an outcome. It is about creating a culture and environment to ensure those who are diverse are actually feeling welcome. And not just feeling welcome, but they are indeed welcome within an organization. You may also ask, well, what does a commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion look like? Well, the journey may look different for every company or organization, including ours here at the Hartford Foundation for Public Giving. But there are a few commonalities along the way. A commitment to DEI must be intentional, persistent, and transparent. A commitment to DEI should be reflected throughout every level of the organization. It is important to establish accountability and measurements. I can tell you from firsthand experience that organizations must be prepared for some discomfort. You should not hesitate to ask for help along the way, but most importantly, you should be prepared to reap the benefits of becoming a transformed organization. I'll begin to close with this. No organization, no company, nor region, nor state can fully prosper while systemically excluding significant portions of our participants from equitable opportunity. The loss of creativity, experience, and productivity, and economic output is a recipe for disaster. We simply cannot compete in a national or global economy with so much of our talent marginalized or sidelined. I believe, and I think we all believe, Connecticut can prosper as a state of diverse lived experiences. Connecticut has the wealth and a talent and the resources to set an example of what, what a more equitable society would look like. And I firmly believe that the top workplaces that we are celebrating here today can and will lead the way. As we approach our 100th anniversary and as the largest community foundation in the state of Connecticut, the Hartford Foundation for Public Giving is committed to being a leading voice on this issue. While we have embarked on our own journey of reflection, learning and aspiration around diversity, equity and inclusion, we simultaneously believe that we must use our platform to encourage, inspire, and cajole, and cajole our broader community to do the same. Thank you again to the Hartford Current for inviting us to be a part of this celebratory event. The recognition of these top workplaces is well-deserved and we look forward to join you in your ranks in the years ahead. Now back to you, Rick.
Thank you very much, Jay. We're now going to move to the awards portion of the program, the part that all of you are waiting for. I have to say, as an editor uh, in this project, I was just incredibly struck by the commitment of all of the businesses and organizations you're honoring today. So we'll turn first to the top employers in the small division. These are organizations that have 149 or fewer employees in the five counties that we cover. That's Hartford, Middlesex, Tallinn, Wyndham, and New London. Congratulations to the following companies that have made our list. And please don't forget to take a minute and share your congratulations in the chat and also to visit the Robinson and Cole Top Workplaces photo booth. Now we'll go to the winners. Adams and Knight. Allstate Construction. Bouvier Insurance. BVH Integrated Services. Caddick. CDM Smith Incorporated. Core Plus Federal Credit Union. Cronin. The Connecticut Food Bank Food Share. First World Mortgage Corporation. Gilbain Building Company. HCC Global Financial Products. Incord. Integrated, integrated Rehabilitation Services. The John M. Glover Agency. KBE Building Corporation. Lynn Welding Company Incorporated. Northwestern Mutual, West Hartford and Downtown Hartford. Novo Precision. The Philip Prada Agency, American Income Life. Pro Park Mobility. The Richards Corporation. SignPro. Slalom. Sound Community Services. Standard Builders Incorporated. The Music People, a division of Jam Industries USA. Trio Properties. And now for the envelopes, please. These are the top winners in the small business division. Third place. The Philip Prada Agency, American Income Life. Second place goes to Adams and Knight Incorporated. And the top award for small employers goes to Trio Properties.
I, I want to give uh, congratulations to all of the top workplaces in the small employers division. Now we're going to take a minute uh, to take a look at a video from Robinson and Cole, and that will be followed by some team photos of our winners. So pay attention. Thank you. Thank you to the Hartford Current for this fantastic recognition. What makes Robinson and Cole truly a special law firm is our people. Since our beginning 176 years ago in Hartford and throughout our history, we have seen that supporting our people and their professional development allows us to provide the very best service to our clients and to the community. This recognition is a testament to our core values of collaboration, civility, and inclusion which serve as the foundation of our proud history and our inspiration for our future. Every day of my 31 years at Robinson & Cole, I have been so proud of my decision to move to Hartford to join this great firm. Thank you to everyone at the firm for your hard work and dedication. You are the reason that we are a top workplace. Thank you. Don't forget to visit the Robinson and Cole photo booth. You can find the link in the chat and add your photos to the fine array of pictures that we just saw. And now we're gonna move on to the mid-sized employer division and get the top workplaces in that group. This is companies with between 150 and 499 people. So without further ado, we're going to see the list of winners in the mid-sized employer division category. Beacon help options. Care Centrics, CGI, Chelsea Grottenbank, Claris Commerce, CNC Software. Connecticut Water. CW Resources, Inc. Ensign Bickford Aerospace and Defense. Goodwin University. Intercommunity Health Center, Healthcare, Inc. KPMG, Norcom Mortgage and Insurance, Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine Centers, Project Genesis Incorporated, Reliance Health, formerly 
the Lions have. Robinson and Cole. Sunlight. The Talbot Resolution Life Insurance Company. The Village for Families and Children. United Steel. So congratulations to all those winners. And now we're gonna move on to the top three companies in the Midsize Employers Division. The company coming in ranking third in this division is Ensign Bickford Aerospace and Defense. In second, Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine Centers. And taking top honors in the Midsize Employers Division at this year's Top Workplaces Ceremony is the Talcott Resolution Life Insurance Company. <laughs> nice job. Excellent. Congratulations to all those top workplaces in the Midsize Employers Division. And now I'd like to introduce a video from Community Health Resources. What I found is that they offer that same hope and support to employees. It's kind of like a family where you have uh, many players and many supports throughout the system of CHR. It helps me connect with what is so fulfilling about this work. It's very diverse. In an environment that is very positive, that supports my work. CHR is a joy to work at. Yes, you get your birthday off. If you want to be the change in your community, then join our team. CHR, real life, real hope. Thank you very much to the folks at Community Health Resources. And now it's time for our large employers to visit. This is a group that consists of organizations with 500 or more local employees. I want to offer our congratulations to all of the companies that have made our list. Aldi. Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, New England Properties. COCC. Community Health Resources Incorporated. The Hospital for Special Care. Liberty Bank. Middlesex Health. Mohegan Sun. Stanley Black and Decker. And now for the envelopes, please. The company that ranked number three in the large employers division is Stanley Black and Decker. The number two slot, oh, there's a hint. The number two slot, ranked number two in the large employers division is COCC. And now for the New York Yankees of our winners, uh, the number one top workplace among large employers is Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, New England Properties. Congratulations. <laughs> it's a really impressive group and congratulations again to everyone in this division. 
Now I'd like to introduce a video from one of our sponsors and winners, COCC. It's been an extraordinary time and we are so thankful to have a group of employees who have proven to be just as extraordinary uh, and allowed us to thrive and succeed during a really tough time. Absolutely, for 11 years, thank you for all of your feedback. We couldn't do it without you. Thank you, COCC. Now we'd like to give special recognition, special recognition to some organizations that received outstanding employee response scores in specific categories. Again, don't be shy to share your congratulations in the chat. These are some really terrific awards. So without further ado, let's play the PowerPoint and talk about the winners in these specific categories. For direction, physical therapy and sports medicine centers. Noting the success of its managers, COCC. For new ideas, a company where employees report that new ideas are welcome, Slalom. For doers, in the doers category, Philip Prada Agency, where things are done efficiently and well. In the meaningfulness category, recognition to Connecticut Food Bank and Food Chair, where employees feel like there's something meaningful. The values category received special recognition to Talcott Resolution Life Insurance Company, a company that operates with strong values. Clued in Senior Management, CGI gets the award in that category. In the communication field, Claris Commerce receives special recognition for letting employees know about important decisions. At SignPro, employees say they feel genuinely appreciated. So SignPro gets the appreciation category. In the work-life flexibility arena, special recognition to CNC software, where employees feel they have the flexibility to balance work and personal lives. The training category, special recognition to Middlesex Health. Liberty Bank gets honors in the benefits category with a good benefits package compared to others in the industry. Well, let's give a let's give a round of congratulations and applause to all of these standout companies and keep throwing those those shout outs in the chat. And now we get to the last set of awards of the afternoon, the leadership awards. These go to individuals who are recognized for their leadership within particular companies. And these three leaders have won in each of the three size categories for inspiring confidence and providing leadership in their organizations. So in the small employers division, the winner for outstanding leadership is Carl Frey at BVH Integrated Services PC. <laughs> In the mid-sized division, the Special Leadership Award goes to Michael Rao at Chelsea Groton Bank. Congratulations <laughs> to Michael. And our final award of the afternoon, the winner, the leadership winner in the large division goes to Heather Gates at Community Health Resources. Again, congratulations to all of this year's top workplace winners. And thank you again to our event sponsor, COCC, to our guest speakers, Dan Keller from Energage, and special thanks for those inspiring remarks to Jay Williams from the Hartford Foundation for Public Giving. You know, when, when we all went home uh, in March of 2020, I think many of us were thinking, how are we gonna survive these next few weeks? How are we gonna how are we going to not let things just completely go off the rails? 
And there were some really challenging times in those, in those first few weeks. But as we learned how to work in a, in a new environment, we not only learned how to survive, but companies learned how to thrive, move forward, continue providing the services and goods that are needed to keep our economy strong and to provide the things that people need to, to navigate their days. So I, I think it, it's not a bad idea every so often to just take a breath and acknowledge the resilience, the ingenuity, the perseverance that everyone has showed under extraordinarily difficult circumstances. Just the fact that you're, these companies here are able to notch awards in providing innovation and ideas and employee service at such a challenging time is something that deserves special uh, uh, recognition. So that said, thank you for coming this afternoon. Don't forget to look this Sunday in the Hartford Current for the top workplace special section. If you don't get it at home, you can pick it up at your local newsstand, convenience store, supermarket, plenty of places to buy the Current on Sunday. Award certificates will be distributed electronically tomorrow. Your Hartford Current representative will be reaching out to you to arrange delivery of the top awards in each division. And again, don't forget, capture your own celebration, whether it's at home or at the office, and visit the Robinson & Co. photo booth. You have until Saturday, September 25th to upload your photos, be part of the fun, and maybe even win a $100 gift card. Again, thank you for taking some time out this afternoon to be with us here today. We do this every year. This is the second year we've done it virtually. Uh, it's always a fun event. It's always great to see all the great work being done out there. And here's to hoping next year we get to do this in person. We can actually see y'all uh, face to face. Again, thank you and have a great afternoon.